Yeah, hi, welcome to today's video. We're going to be looking at Facebook today and we're going to be looking how to create a Facebook page for your business. So we're going to run through that step by step and we're going to show you exactly how to do it and we're going to do that right now. Okay, so this is my profile on Facebook. Uh, and if you haven't got a Facebook profile, uh, you will need to set one of these up. It's free to do so. Uh, so just check over to facebook.com and then just sign up for a free account. You will need a profile uh, in order to obviously set up a page okay so once you've uh, set up your profile uh, and done that very quickly and if you have done that then you can head over to uh, the top here and we want to head over to the menu button here which is the nine dots that are here on the right hand corner top corner and you just click on menu and then you scroll down here to page okay this will then set up and it says here create a page so we're going to set up a page for my actual business okay so we're going to set it up so we've got the page name so we're going to put internet marketing we'll put a capital there secret service okay and then we've got a category so if we put internet marketing service now you can put up to three here Let's see what other things are there just obviously put okay, internet company as well so we can put a couple there um, and obviously put in here uh, sort of uh, start typing in uh, relative words to do with your business so obviously if your is a dog training business you could put in dogs here and then obviously click on the relevant uh, categories for it to show up in Okay, so now we've got the description here. So again, we can obviously fill this uh, with relevant uh, keywords and information about your business. So I've obviously just done uh, a few words. So let's just scroll over to my notepad here. I'm just gonna highlight this and I'm gonna copy it and we can go in here. And we've only limited to a certain amount of words. So I'm not sure whether I've done too many here. It looks as if I might have done, yeah, look. <laughs> one letter too many okay so um we need to just obviously trim that down so i can just take that last bit out and we can put a full stop there so that would be it and then it says create page okay so literally just click on the create page okay it, now it says uh, my say my um page has been set up so it also says here you can add a profile image so let's uh, just click on profile image you can put that in there i've already created a profile image here uh, which i've done in canva and i can uh, be doing more videos about how to create all these images uh, in further videos so make sure you obviously subscribe to the channel uh, and obviously hit the notification bell and you get notified every time we make those videos so you don't miss out anything uh, so let's uh, click on that and hopefully this will be the right size okay so we've got our image in there now and we can also add a, a cover photo as well and i've done one of those as well so we'll just click on that and again hopefully uh, you should be able to just adjust this to make sure it's in the center but that, that's pretty well uh pretty good as far as i know you can drag this up and down if you want to do just drag it down in the box here like i say you can drag it around but we want it pretty central which is about there so and then we just click on the save button okay so it looks like we're all done there as you can see we've got our banner in there and we've got our profile picture in there i might make that slightly smaller uh, so it obviously uh, doesn't uh, go right to the edges but uh, we can do that uh, another time that's not a problem uh, so we've also got here as you can see a call to uh, action button here so this is what you want to set up especially for your uh, business so if we click on that now now you could click it just to have people follow you uh, you can uh, view a gift card you can start an order so you can book now so if you're a restaurant for argument's sake you could have this to say book now and it would take you through to your booking page on your website uh, call now so if you wanted someone to actually uh, take action and call you contact us so again that could uh, go to a website uh, to find more information send us a message uh, so you can obviously uh, send them a message on facebook send a whatsapp message send an email uh, obviously learn more 
uh, is always a good one to send people elsewhere. Sign up, use that, play game, watch a video, or shop on our website. So with us, uh, obviously, we are a internet marketing magazine, and uh, we obviously do um, loads of tips, tricks, and um, updates, etc., on the magazine and our YouTube channel. Uh, so I'm going to actually put here, learn more. Okay, then I'm going to put our website. So we need to put the HTTPS. So it says here, uh, so I've got imsecretservice.com that will take us to our website and I'm just going to press save on that. Now the next thing you can do, but you can't normally do this uh, from the word go, you'd normally need to get to sort of 25, 30 followers first, but you can then create a username. So we're going to just have a look at it and see if we can uh, obviously do that, but normally they have to allow you to obviously get some people following you before you can do that. But I'm just going to call it I am secret service. And as you can see here, it's not actually letting me do that. Okay. Because I need to obviously get more people to actually uh, like the page first. So it doesn't allow you to do this from the word go. But once you've done that, uh, this will say create username and then you can just create the username, which basically means that your Facebook page uh, will have uh, a, a proper username as well, which will uh, be easier to obviously brand your page. So if we scroll down on the left hand side here, and we want to edit page information, okay? So if we open this up, as you can see, we haven't got a username in there, so it won't allow us to do that. We've obviously done the name itself. We've done our description, done our categories. You can also add a phone number in here. I don't need to do that, so I'm gonna actually tick this box. My page doesn't have a phone number. Uh, your WhatsApp number, if you wanted to put that in there, you could do that. Again, I'm not gonna do that. So I can then disconnect WhatsApp if I wanted to, which I do, so I would just disconnect WhatsApp, that's fine. Uh, email, so I could put an email in here if I wanted to, so I could put, uh, I could put something like support, support at I am secret service, and this is where people can obviously .com and we can put that in there. We've got our website, so obviously I can add in the website, that's not a problem. I am secretservice.com. Again, you'll get the green tick here if it's okay. But that's all fine. You could actually add in your location. So if you're a bricks and mortar business or something like that, you can add in your uh, location here with your address and uh, city zip code, etc. Uh, I don't want to actually do that. This is quite good for businesses because it could actually come up into the uh, Google search engine as well. But I don't want to do mine's all online. So we are literally just going to click my uh, page does not have a location. Now you've also got a service area here. A business that's local, then you can obviously type in your area of which you actually do your business. So then it's more predominantly going to show up in front of people from that area. And also you could add your hours of business here. Now I'm gonna keep mine as no hours available because I'm obviously available for um, 24 hours online. But you could obviously put um, uh, always open, uh, which would, like I say, would be beaches, things like that. Uh, or you could put your opening hours here as well. So if you're a nine to five business, you can put opening hours there. And of course, you could obviously uh, add in the temporary service changes here as well. The privacy policy, again, you could add that in as well if you wanted to. Uh, you could put other things in here as well. So like in the products, we could put um, inter marketing monthly magazine. And we could put additional information here as well if you wanted to. And you could even add uh, your price in here if you wanted to as well uh, to, um, to meet. But uh, again, I'm not gonna obviously do that either.
But if you do that, if you do put a price in here, you could change the um, amount to, to obviously mine is saying British pounds, but you could change this if you were doing stuff online and uh, you wanted to do dollars for argument's sake, you could actually do that. Now you could obviously uh, add in an uh, account to username for Instagram or anything like that as well. And you can obviously do uh, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, etc. So I am gonna obviously put in our YouTube and again, I am secret service for our YouTube. And I think we're all done there. So that's all the added information. So we could go back to our page here. Now, the next thing we want to do is look at uh, our menu here. Okay, so we want to come down to settings. And then we want to come to templates and tabs. And as you can see here, we've got uh, services, reviews, shop offers. So obviously I don't want shop and offers out up there. Uh, so I would actually put in videos uh, of which I can obviously put near the top. And we can also put, for argument's sake, events as well. So I could put events in there. So if we then go back to our page, and as you can see here, our tab has now changed. We've got services, videos, events, and you can still get to the others, but you'll obviously click on the more tab to do that. Uh, the last thing you need to obviously do is obviously go and invite some people to like and follow your page. So if you click on this here, uh, the three dots, and uh, it says other actions here. So you obviously, you can share your page for a start. You can invite friends, which is what we wanna do, and you wanna like as your page. So we want the invite friends. Very, very simple to do, guys. Uh, definitely, uh, if you are business online, then having a Facebook page is a, a must. Whether you even use it, make sure you have a Facebook page because if you want to do Facebook ads, that sort of thing, then having a Facebook page is essential because that you would do your ads through your Facebook page. Okay, trust you found that useful and interesting. If you did, smash up the like button for us. Don't forget to, to watch this video next. And also, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, so then you'll get notified every time we make new videos. That's it for today. We'll see you on the next video.